either that or Brother Billy got a lot of hair. Did, what's your name, Brother Tumbelani? How, how do you pronounce your name? What's your, what's your name? Tobella. Tobella. What does Tobella mean? To be obedient. To be obedient? Yes. Oh, this is wonderful. Here's your instructions to be obedient. Just sit there and chill. But actually, to be obedient, to Bele. You had a question. Now, since Brother Bele isn't here, I'll answer the question for you as best I can. The question was, um, uh, was something like, can we be racist? Or, 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 or something like that. What, 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 was, what was the question exactly? Can black people be racist? Yes. Hmm. I understand your question. Now, here's the thing. People confuse racism with discrimination. In other words, you can, you, 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 uh, when you discriminate, this just means that you, know, you prefer something over another. Okay? So, in other words, I discriminate every day because you know, if, I'm, if I want to wear this top, I'm going to wear this top rather than something else. So I'm discriminating. I'm saying that I'm going to wear this blue top rather than this black top or whatever, or this hat rather than that hat or whatever it is. Okay, great. We got that. That's easy. But here's the thing. The problem is there, there is no such thing as racism. I know it sounds kind of strange, but there's no such thing. Racism is a false construct. Because what's happened is some, somewhere in, in the Revolutionary War time, in the American Revolution, 17, whatever it is, they decided, hey, what we'll do is we need to divide, we need to divide people. Because what was happening is that the, the, the black indentured servants, as well as the black slaves, as well as the white indentured servants, they were all suffering the same what we call hell. You know? So what happened is they started saying, hey, there's some problem, there's a problem here. And it's these so-called masters, these guys that's, you know, not paying us any money. So they were sort of like getting together to revolt against those kinds of people. So now somebody came to this idea. Yeah, but you know, if you tell white people <laughs> that no matter what your status, you're better than the, than any black person. Remember, most of them were slaves anyway, but, but most, there's a whole lot of free black people. There were black people that, that, that well, there's a lot, there was a lot of free black people in, in the time of the Revolutionary War. There was a lot of people here. But people think, they think this, Black people were slaves, but that's not true. But basically, what they were saying: if, if you, you or you, white person, you are better than any black person, no matter what their status. And the white people went for it. It's a system. It was a system, but that system was based on something. Okay. In other words, it's a system of I say that I'm better than you. Well, how did that system start? Now, as far as, as, far as we can tell, there's a, the system, um, right before there's a system called the royalist system. Royalist system, we have kings and queens or whatever. And this is not the same as African kings and queens. African, an African chief <laughs> or king, even though he grows up to be chief, he grows up to learn how to be an administrator, whatever have you, and protect da 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 da. But it's not the same thing as a European notion of king or chief. Because even with the African chief, you know, they really wouldn't things like, like, like in England, they had this thing, uh, uh, the, the, the king had the right, so if you was getting married, the king had the right to basically uh, 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 have sex with your wife before you did. Those are the kind of things that, 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 that what happens when you what we call the abuse of power. Let's put it that way. Okay, I'm, I know I'm going off for it, but I gotta do this correctly. So there's a royalist system, meaning that I'm royal. Well, how'd you get this blue blood? Well, be, be, you know, a few a few years ago, you were a barbarian, and now all of a sudden you got blue blood. What's going on? How did you become royal? Well, people just went for it. They went for it, so they, okay, I own this. You got to work for me. However, that, that happened. That's the royalist system, and then that royalist system came, I guess, through from Roman times on, whatever. Happened. But before that, you had what we called the patriarchy, which was still under the patriarchal system. Again, there's a cat in charge. Now, what they don't tell you is before the patriarchal system, you know, before what we call agriculture. When then when you when you basically say, okay, if if you have the baby, if you have a baby, you know, it's difficult for you to go out and hunt. You know what I mean? So why don't you take care of doing this and we'll go do that? And so you had to split. Now you have the cats, I guess they had a lot of time hunting, waiting for waiting for whoever come on. They say, hey, you know, we should be in charge of we should be in charge of everything. And so now you have the patriarchal system, in other words, the men are in charge of everything. So you have the men in charge of everything. So in other words, you have a hierarchy. Before you just had everybody was together, they did what they did. Then you come up with the system of a patriarchy. Then you have a royalist system. Then on top of that royalist system, now you put this racial system. Okay? Now, as soon as you identify yourself with a race, 
the problem is, is that now you've grouped yourself. And any other group can say, oh, your group, you, you know, they think of your sports. Oh, you're, you're, you're the Blue Bulls? Oh, the Blue Bulls, you can't beat up on the Sharks. Sharks are better than Blue Bulls. As soon as you get a, a grouping, then you can start talking about other people, how they're no good or whatever it is. But if you, everybody's universal, everybody's human, then it's, it's difficult to do that. But since you have everybody's little groupings, then as soon as you put somebody in a class, a, a, a cast, I like to say cast, or race, then people are going to start sniping on them. But the thing is, who named these races, and who, and, and, and ultimately you have to look at all your, all, in all areas of your existence, you know, war, or sex, religion, you know, labor, whatever, whatever education, all that stuff. Who ultimately is in charge? Do you really, you, we're at the University of Fort Hare, do you really think that the, we're in the university system, but the university system comes from where? It's not an African university system, and it's beholden to a worldwide university system, and that's beholden to something else, beholden to something else. And when you go all up the line, it's some, the system is controlled by people who have a supremacist mentality. Now, it just so happens people have a supremacist mentality to start all this other stuff. It's called, they're, they're, they're basically, uh, I guess they, they come from European tribes, or what they call white. You know, so it's a white mentality, it's a white supremacy system. And you can't have two supremacists at the same time, so there can't be no such thing as a black supremacist. You can't have a black and a white supremacist, if you have these racial situations. So what I'm trying to say is that you can't have a, you can't have a race, a black person can't be a racist because they don't have any power over other races. To be a racist basically means you have power over other races. And you know, you can ignore, you know, people just ignore black people, or they can enslave them, or they can, <laughs> whatever they do. So that's the trick. So the trick is, so the trick is, but nobody can, there could be no, the only, the problem is that race, race is a, not only is it a false construct, it's a word that is confusing. Because you are talking about, uh, maybe the second or the third or the fourth level down. You're not talking about the level up there. Usually when I write this out, I have to write it out, um, especially in the modern world, I like it. Like, I put racism, and I put, because a line goes through it. You know how you can computer can put that line through it? Then next to it, I put a, uh, the next thing I just put white with a small letter, W-H-I-T-E, then a capital S, U P white supremacy. But I put an S and then I put white and supremacy together. So when I when I when I'm clear when I write them because when you write you a little bit more you know better from just talking. So when I write, I will always say racism slap and cross out white supremacy. So when people they look at what I'm what I'm thinking about, they'll say, oh, he's talking about white supremacy. He's he's saying, he's even trying to say racism doesn't you know it doesn't even exist. Cause think about it, if we don't have white supremacy. Who's going to take their place? Who wants to take their place? Who has that sort of mentality to even want to subject anybody to, you know, you know, you do that? It doesn't make any sense. And the only reason why we have this problem with black people doing, imitating what the white supremacist, imitating what the white supremacist has done, and then we'll call that person, oh, a racist, because they're imitating the white supremacists. Even, you can't even, you can't even really identify white supremacists because it's a system and they're, 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 sometimes we'll say, oh, that person is white supremacist because they got a bald head and they're doing these racial stuff. Well, they don't have any power. They're just foot soldiers of the white supremacists. They're not even a real threat. So, so if, if you want to deal with, if you want to say there's, there's a black racist, you're saying you're really saying that they're, they're, they're not being racist, they're being discriminatory. That's the most you can say, because they ain't got no power. And black people, I'm sorry. Look, the world is like this. It's white people and non-white people. Okay, Chinese non-white. Okay, Vietnamese non-white. <laughs> whatever it is, uh, Indian non-white. Whatever. You, if you ain't white, you non-white. And if you ain't, if you are non-white, you don't control anything. And right now, there's a very interesting thing happening in the world because you got, and it's going to take a decades to really do. But you got the Chinese saying, "Hey," <laughs> and even the Russians saying, "Hey." <laughs> This thing, how do they control this stuff? They say they control it by the dollar. 
the U.S. white supremacists, which it's not even really the U.S. because the people who control the U.S. think they're international now as a corporation, the people who control the corporation, you get the spiral that keeps on going up. So you can't even identify the white supremacists that you're supposed to be fighting against. Therefore, you can't fight against the white supremacy. You can't fight against racism. What you ought to be doing, if you want to really do it, be in a battle, if you want, you know, because basically, if my skin is my, I'm automatically an enemy. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter where I go. What you want to do is you want to fight the system. They said, well, system, that's, that's like fighting a battle. Five battleships, now how do you fight them? Well, you have to ignore what the system is giving you and then you have to replace that system with something that everybody will go for. In other words, even if you even if you defeated white supremacy and you took it away, there would be a void. You have to replace it with something. And, you know, black people are a lot of good at, at you know protesting and burning tires and stuff like that. But hey, but what are you replacing this stuff with? That's the question. There is an answer. I'll give you the answer. I'm gonna leave it in suspense. You replace the system of racism or white supremacy with the system of justice. White, what, in other words, a system of, of unfairness or white supremacy racism cannot exist when there is a system of justice. It can exist, but, it, but if, if most of the people go for the justice, and justice just meaning that, it just, it, it, justice only just means basically that um, um, you, don't, you do not mistreat any other human being or any other being, which would include flowers and plants and you know, animals and stuff like that. If you, if you think about what white supremacy is or what racism is, it's just mistreating another group of people or group or peoples. And even within a, within a race, you have discrimination. You're not like uh, the Indians have it, or you, we, we have it, come on. Now when you see some cat that's a, a drunk out in the street, you think less of him. He's of a lower caste. And so you take that white mentality or that, that superiority, think I'm superior to him. And so you look down on that person. You don't know if that person's been a professor or you know the, the nuclear scientist or just lost their mind or whatever. You don't know anything about that. You know what I mean? You just know that they they look like they're not as good as you. And so you. And that's what racism is. That's what caste is. That's what class is. You, I'm better than you. Boom, 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 boom. And since the system of white supremacy acknowledges that I'm better than you. Even if you're black. some black people think they cause they got one of those black cards from uh, from uh, uh, what was American Express that they're above everybody else. And people are laughing at these people because you know, no, you still. Okay, I've been rambling on like I usually do. But anyway, this has been one of those dispatches from the director of America. That would be me, T, from the Patterson Station Train to Tibet, being very long, explaining to you that racism is not in effect if you won't let it be.